This is Christina here from Christina Articulates and today we're going to be having a look at a doll that I am super excited to review and that is Go Go Tamago from the Disney Store from the new Big Hero 6 movie. Uh, I am sure that um, you may have already watched my Honey Lemon review. I did that just a few weeks ago. You can check that out. I'll link it down below in the description bar. Um, and she was a gift from a friend for Christmas but I got her early. And then Gogo -Go was waiting under the tree for me. She was a gift as well. And I'm super excited to have both of them. And um, so without further ado, let's just have a look at Gogo. -Go. And just have an overview look of her. You can see she's got this cool helmet. Um, the like a point coming out the back and this goes up and down. And then she's got her armor and her like the wheels on her arms that spin that she could like throw like discs. And then she's got her suit and her the ones on her ankles that like is what she like rolls around on so she's really cool and there's a lot going on uh first things first i'm going to take off her helmet which is not as easy honey's helmet goes on and off really easy and gogo's is not as easy and i'm not sure if it's just tighter fitting or if it's because of her like short hair but so here's gogo -Go, and she has a super super cute look on her face i love how she looks like kind of sassy and she's got those side glancing eyes and she has really nice like dark brown eyes and purple eyeshadow that goes with like the purple in her hair. I think she's really, really cute. And I love the little like smirk on her face. Like again, the Disney Store dolls, my favorite thing about them is how good they are at capturing like character in the faces. Um, they don't all just have like the same generic face. And I think that this is another good example of that. Uh, and then outfit wise, um, she has this armor um, chest plate on, which does come off. Just splits off into two pieces like that and then you can see like the bodysuit underneath now what's really interesting about this is that her arms are actually molded like this um so you can see like they're actually just yellow with like all this molding on them it's not like a suit or anything so she's kind of like a action figure doll hybrid a little bit uh definitely would re limit redressing possibilities but i'm not going to redress her so it doesn't really bother me and these things on her arms do pop off um and then they leave behind like little pegs so you could yeah definitely use them like in a gif if you were playing you could definitely use them as like a weapon which is cool and then what's interesting is that you can see like her body she's got like a lot of curve here and the reason for that is that she actually has uh padding in the suit underneath this suit her body is the same as the other disney store dolls like her torso is but to give her like the shorter curvier look that gogo -Go has in the movie they actually padded the suit and I think it's actually a pretty effective technique and it definitely gets the look across without um, vastly changing like the body mold. And the padding ends just around her knees. And then she's got these big yellow boots on. They're actually held on, like they're kind of held closed with rubber bands because they are pretty soft and floppy and they would probably fall off if they didn't have those on there. Um, maybe not like for what my purpose is for I'm just going to have her like, you know, displayed, but in the, in playing, they might come off, especially because Disney dolls have those, um, they have articulated ankles and so they can make their legs a little bit floppy sometimes. And then again, she has these big spinning things and they also pop off if you would like them to. And now you can see by looking at her that uh, her legs are pretty warped and it's, it's, this one is really really warped and it's just those disney knees they have they're pretty strange um and when she's on a stand like you can kind of like work with it but i mean you can see like how close like her feet are like not even like almost the same and it's because of that warped knee um but i'm not really sure what i can do about that but again once i get her on a stand she's okay so it's not really um the end of the world there is actually also a rip in her outfit on mine um, I imagine it must have gotten caught like in the manufacturing process at some point, but you can't really see it with um, the armor on and I wouldn't have known it was there if I hadn't taken the armor off. So it's not really a big deal because again, she's just going to get displayed like this um, all the time. And I am super, super glad that I grabbed both her and Honey when I did or that they were grabbed for me by... Uh, by friends because I was actually at the Disney store the other day and they didn't have a single one of either so I think these are pretty popular dolls so if you like them you should definitely make sure to check out your your local Disney store if you have one or check out online um, on the Disney store website and keep an eye out for them because they're really neat really great character dolls and I love um, 
yeah, I just really love both her and Honey, and I love the movie, and these are a great collectible to have, um, and they look really cool on my shelf, kind of like bridging my action figure collection and my doll collection. I really like that. So super fun. I love Gogo. I think she's beautiful, and I think she looks super, um, she looks like smart and sassy, and like she's going to like, she doesn't take any, she doesn't take any crap from anybody, and I like that. So <laughs> yeah, definitely love this doll, and she was a great gift. Um, and as always, I'm going to do a photo review, so you can check that out down below in the description bar. There'll be a link to christinearticulates.blogspot.ca if you want to see, take, have a look at her, um, you know, see, look at what her, at her, what her body looks like compared to some of the other Disney dolls, um, things like that. Definitely compared with Honey as well, of course. See how they look together. Um, you can also find me on Tumblr and Facebook and Twitter. I'm Christine Articulates everywhere. Or you can find me on Instagram at Catnip and Honey if you want to see pictures of my cats and stuff like that. Uh, so thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Bye!